Hey, I'm Jordan from JL Performance. Uh, today we're going to be putting a few parts on this 2021 Sea Dew Spark Trix. Uh, we're going to do a wear ring update, a ribbon intake ribbon delete, as well as a free flow exhaust and a 122. We're going to go into some of the details on that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the parts we're going to install today. So this is the WSM uh, wear ring. It's a hybrid type, so it's the plastic outer with a stainless inner ring. So this will be the first time trying one of these. I've used the Riva uh, full stainless rings before with great luck, so we'll see how this goes. Um, next is your WSM. This is the intake ribbon delete. Um, and then finally, we have, uh, we're going to make our own free flow exhaust. That is a two and a half inch intake elbow. Um, and then two and a half inch stainless steel tubing. We'll cut to length. I'll specify later, as well as the uh, upgraded hull washers. So this is the stock Spark plastic wear ring. As you can see the tolerances are not perfect. Um, only put two hours on this unit and not in shallow water. And as you can see, that does not look great. Okay, so looking at this factory wear ring, you can see the marks, the wear marks on it, and it's actually not caused by um, sand and grit in this case. It's actually the way the uh, clearance is. The impeller itself actually rubs the wear ring, so it's quite interesting. All right, so now we have the uh, aftermarket wear ring in, and you can see the tolerances are much better, as well as when you spin it, there's zero contact. All right, so we're gonna take the uh, water box out. I've already done that. Um, next step is you wanna cut the corner of the water box out at the bottom. That's gonna be your through hull fitting. Uh, the other option is you can order, I believe it's for 96 um, 800 XP CD, and the through hull fitting you can make work uh, in this. So if you don't wanna cut your factory water box, there's options for that. If you do, this is what you're gonna look for in here. Um, I've cut it. Uh, you have to sand it, make it uh, round, get rid of the ridges, otherwise it doesn't seal correctly. I've used uh, marine adhesive or sealant uh, and clamps. This is your factory elbow. That is the um, 90 degree, two and a half inch intake rubber. And then the final part is just two and a half inch stainless steel exhaust tubing. So we'll throw that on. Perfect. So as you can see, it lines up pretty well. Uh, you do have to play with it a little bit as it's slightly more than a 90 degree and slightly more than a 90 degree, but uh, the stainless steel tubing, you're gonna want two and a half inch and 14 inches of length. There's other DIY videos on it, but this is just the way I do it and I've had success with many units this way. Well, this is the end result here. Like I said, you do have to be careful because you are taking a 90 degree bend and going slightly beyond that but as long as you line everything up correctly, it works perfectly. Okay, so now the tunes are actually being written in right now. Um, everything's hooked up, diagnostics. So that was the tablet. I'm using Cantoon and their 120 tune. So I went with the Cantoon 120 tune. I did the do-it-yourself package. Basically, they ship you a tablet and the diagnostic connector and they hook up remotely and program everything and you ship it back so they give you the case stickers the uh, how-to and then uh, all the shipping stuff back so yeah it shows up hook it up they hook up remotely do everything and you're good to go